Hey everybody, welcome back to Sim Casino. I hope you're having a great day today. So not as many days as I thought it would take has passed. We are, again, insanely profitable. And uh, today I want to get everything in the casino area, and at least looking and feeling and working the way uh, we need it to work for the future, for like long term. And we're going to look at getting our, our hotel up and running. But I need to recap you on all the things I've done. Check out our big beefy building. Okay. Now, that's a lot of floors. <laughs> all right. I've let it run for only a few days. As you go back and look at the last video when we left off, it's uh, it took a long time to build. This building is worth millions of dollars. Okay. Now, you're going to notice a couple of features, right? The first of which is maybe this little lip, right? It's not uh, it's not flush, and I'm actually liking this, and I, I'm, I'm considering taking it back even more, because the top floor is all about the suites, right? These are all like the highest, the highest end rooms, and I don't know if there's gonna be enough of them, like a necessity to have enough of them to, to fill this whole thing. So um, we might push this back even further, and then I'll push the floor under that back a little bit, and then the floor under that back a little bit, and it might, create like an interesting roof look you know almost like a like you can't round it do a dome or anything but i think it's kind of nice now of course all these floors are blank right there's nothing going on here right but i have some ideas all right on some things we can do but i have to start at the top for those ideas to come to fruition i think because i just don't want to get to a situation where we already don't need to do any more rooms and we have floors up to go. I would rather have floors uh, left over closer to the casino because I can more, you know, utilize them with more utility. Now, uh, you're going to see this part here. Of course, it's like cut in, and I, I really like how this is it's almost a letter. I thought about making the whole building the shape of like the letter P. So I would basically have this cut out, and then it would come up, and then there'd be this, you know, like a letter, like the letter P. Uh, but eh, I didn't, I didn't do that. This little lip in here, though, this is going to be for that outdoor dining idea that I said earlier. And uh, I might even use two different restaurants to do this. So I have one over here and one over here, and they're both on the balcony. But I like this, like, gold sort of colored floor in with this. It looks kind of nice. And then you've got the, uh, you know, the, the fence and stuff or whatever to, like, stop people from uh, just slipping on the outside or something. But I like this. This is great. Uh, I've taken the liberty of redoing the entire sidewalk around the building as well because i figured might as well make it look good so the whole thing around the building all the way around is all this extra custom stuff here now to make this look even nicer i'm noticing that the garbage and the the kitchen staff they're not taking the garbage direct to here they're just kind of flopping it around which i'm not really all that much of a fan of to be honest so uh, I'm going to use a side door, a staff door, side door, right over in this area, okay? And then we're going to move this stuff over here, because I would much rather these guys drop all their garbage off on the side, right? So we're going to dezone all of this as garbage. So that they don't use it like this anymore and leave garbage bags randomly everywhere. And uh, this is hopefully going to provide a better looking environment for us. By just stuffing the garbage right over here. And um, to, to ensure they have more room, I'll just go ahead and place a few more of these bins. I don't know if they're going to need this many, but it's a fixed cost. So I'll just do it now. Alright, good. So the workmen can hopefully get on that. Looks like they're going to take care of it. There we go. And now our sidewalks are cleaned up, huh? Isn't that nice? All right, cool. A couple of other things, right? The second floor is like this floating balcony thing, right? And uh, I've been looking at, like, what can I do for that? Well, I've got the uh, escalators in right on this side. And I've got the escalators in all the way over here as well. So this whole thing is sorted out. People can come on the escalators and go right into the theater, right? That's what I want to see. But... Up until now, it was just this floating platform. Well, I took the liberty to um, min-max this or meticulously measure everything. Yeah, I did that. So there's black pillars 
holding up, I'm doing air quotes right now, holding up the second floor, and they are all exactly spaced. Uh, exactly the way they need to be, uh, and equally. And the black pillars are all on the black tiles. They don't, they don't stand on the gold stripes. So it's, uh, I went ahead and just did that. And uh, I, I'm hoping that makes you proud. The symmetry, the meticulous measuring, <laughs> I hope that makes you proud. Uh, but now they, they hold up the second floor uh, pretty nicely. Of course, I reset all the camera positionings and everything. So we have great camera coverage on everything now too. Uh, I have security. I said I would show you that and I never did, I don't think. So uh, let me just look at security routes here. So the front slots route looks like, well, it's not gonna show me what it looks like, is it? Interesting that it doesn't show me the actual route when I click this. Maybe it's because I'm on second floor. It is, okay. So ground floor, this is the security guards for the front door. And we basically have one in the very early morning doing this and then four, five, and then two really late at night in a different shift. So we are keeping a lot of security guards right near the door for all of this stuff. Uh, I don't know if that's necessary because if they're spotted over here and they start getting chased by other guards, some guards don't chase them back. I, I, don't, I don't know how that works, but I feel like it's better safe than sorry and I'm making tons of money, so whatever. Front slots route looks like this. And uh, I'm actually thinking of coming back in here with this security guard too, because I, yeah, I feel like I haven't done that yet. So we're gonna adjust the route, but we got two usually in the very early morning and then around six, 7 a.m. is when it starts to pick up. So I pop four in here and then at 9.30, that's when most people come and there's seven in this route for that. So lots of guards there. Then we have this crazy looking route, cards and slots, two in the really early morning. Again, some of these are open 24 hours. Then we have three up until 9.30. And then at 9.30 to midnight, six are on this route. Side cards one is just a two route through here. Um, I planned to put more uh, tables. That's why these two routes go all the way out here. I was thinking about putting more tables here. Now I'm considering not doing that. And instead, what I'm gonna do, I think, is just start like a restaurant right here. So kitchen in this area and then you know, a little restaurant for them to eat at, and then we have a, the bathroom area, etc. There's probably going to be another building right here, maybe another cashier, so they don't have to go all the way over here to get to the cashier again. And uh, the cashier actually is a pretty busy place. If we uh, let this play on a little bit, there's actually a line, there's lines forming, uh, which is why I designed it this way, because it gives me the ability to go like this and offer additional cashiers at a whim whenever I need so that we can get people in, get them their money that they need and get them out. Now you might say, well, this is crowded with poker and yep, it is. It's crowded with poker. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to move it. So we're going to take this multi-select these games right here and we can move it to here, which is going to mess up the pit boss routes, but I can get it away from the cashier a little bit. And, um, you know, open this area up just a tad. Go with the eyedropper here and uh, just leave that little, you know, that little uh, gap here for them to stand in for each window. There, 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 and there, right? Yeah. So they have their little, their little lines. Looks like I left one stanchion. Yeah, this one's longer than the other one. Just kind of do this. There we go. And we are good. Okay, so there's the cashier lines, right? And all these all these tables are still working. Crafts are still working. Uh, it's just the pit boss route, probably. No, nope, front cards patrol. Front cards patrol. Isn't that pit boss? Yeah, pit boss. So uh, the pit boss was here on his route. Um, if I just move him one tile over, does that fix his route? How does that look? I need you to mm, let's have number two be here instead and then number three is going to be here that uh no <laughs> what no 
Number three, I guess, is going to be here. Yep, and then number four goes here. Yep, there we go. But why are you doing that? It makes no sense. Oh, well, maybe it's... No, it's not the plant. I'm just... You're just choosing to do that. I, whatever, it's fine. It's fixed. Like, it's not going to make a big difference. It's a pit boss route. But there you go. So now we have extra cashiers to funnel in everybody here. And then now uh, we can replicate this with, uh, like, another one over here if we need to. Um, then we'll have ticketing windows for the events and stuff. This, this, is, this is coming later. Um, we're going to do that in another video. But today is all about hotels and stuff and finalizing the looks and aesthetics of this place. And um, this starts with continuing our, our lights. So I'm going to take and clone this whole thing. Maybe out to here. And we're just going to zoom out a little bit and see about... See one, two, three, four. I, th I think it's like this. The, I mean, it looks right. I can't tell because they don't actually move with the same increments. So, uh, so uh, high auto save. I have a little bit of a cold today. Sorry if my voice sounds nasally. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So that was right. And then um, one, two, three, four, five. So all these are five like that. So we could just copy U3, I guess, and just go one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, I guess I have to copy just this one, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we got lights all around the perimeter, right? Is what we're looking for. Uh, and then I can take this wall. This is all glass, so we're not gonna have any lights over here. Um, but I was thinking of having some hanging lights through this area, maybe. And then of course this area doesn't need lit because, well, the outdoors is gonna light it. It's totally fine. All right, we got the lights placed. I feel good about this. <laughs> all the way around, all the way around. At least we don't need light here, right? So, because of sunlight and everything, plus I can't place them on the windows. But they're all the way around the outside, and that feels great. Uh, now I could actually, I could actually add some here, because there's a there's a spot here to add them. So uh, we can go snap position and just kind of, I don't know, maybe play off of this side. We can go. I don't really think we need to be precise here, so we can just maybe put it there, and then maybe another one there. And then I, can, I think we call just call that good. This is out of place, unfortunately. It needs to go. Goodbye. Uh, so we'll replace it with this one just to keep it consistent with the rest of the casino. There we go. Lots of lights. Okay. Good to go. I've also got them on the bathroom part as well. Yeah. Now, as we go to the second floor, there's probably a need to add lights up here too. So I could probably do that just on this part here and on this part here and all around this part. But I don't feel the need to raise these lights to the second floor. Uh, I think they can stay here. There's no reason to bring them up. So uh, yeah, that is that. So uh, I think that's all I wanted to do with the casino floor today. We can have more gambling and more slot machines and stuff. Adding that stuff to the, to the underside here is no biggie. Uh, again, we'll have a restaurant here and probably one floating in this area. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, it kind of depends on how the gambling goes. If we're filling all the seats for the slot machines, which it's late at night now. It's not prime time, so maybe we won't. We've got nearly a million dollars, so I'm going to... I'm probably, To be honest, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, get marketing going again. And, like, on a TV show, go gambling. Excellent. And then, like, maybe just do a seven-day ad streak for half a million dollars just to bring people in. It looks like we have a big boost for gambling right here. Is this today a busy day? No. Well, Saturday and Sunday is the peak visiting days, and it's a Saturday now. Yeah, a.m., so there it is. Today is a busy day of the week. But <clears throat> this game is a little weird. It starts the busy day of the week at, like, 6 o'clock. I mean, it's, it'll tell me that it's a busy day after 6. Today's getting a boost. 
Yeah, maybe that's not the case. I, I've noticed that a lot, most people, don't. they just flat out don't show up this time of night anyway. So even though it's a busy day, this thing will tell me later. Okay, so casino for now, done. We're going to let it stew. Just let people do their thing, okay? And uh, let's go up to here. So I've got these elevators, and I'm not entirely sure exactly where they need placed. So... Like, I, I'm not sure, because I wanted to have sweet. I wanted to have a sweet on, on, along the, the middle part here, too, right? And fitting an elevator in a reasonable spot near the middle where it doesn't occupy the space, a little bit challenging. Our hotel check-in stuff is all going to take place right here. So no gambling, no nothing. This is all wide open. We're going to have hotel check-in stuff, seats to sit around in, etc., right in this region. And then they can just get to the elevator and go to their room, right? So real quick, easy stuff like that. Let's take a look at the top floor and see what we can come up with for a room. So we're just going to come up, 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 and down one. Okay, so I've got this sort of uh, different colored floor here. and uh, This was sort of a visual cue for me just to remind me not to add windows. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, don't add windows. Now, the reason why I'm not adding windows is because... I'm going to actually indent this top part in about four to five uh, tiles. I, I think it's going to be four four tiles. Um, and we can indent that by demolishing, basically. So I'm coming up here, noticing there's nothing around the edge at the top. This is the roof, right? Uh, there's nothing at the top here. And what we can do is I can grab my demolished structures tool... And I can go in about four. One, two, three, uh, four. And then go all the way over here with four in. And by doing that, what we get is this little lip. All right. You can see we got the same thing on this side. Four in. One, two, three, four. Right? Four in all around this part. Maybe this part. I haven't decided because there's a restaurant down here. I haven't decided if I want to do this plan which I think you can probably tell what the plan is by now, but if you can't, don't worry, you're gonna figure it out in a second. Um, but because there's a restaurant right there, I'm not sure I like the plan. All right, so we got this lip, right? And this lip here, this is gonna be a balcony, okay? So the top suites, they're gonna have their own private balconies, each one of them, and they might not be completely private, uh, but I'm thinking about putting little spaces between them and maybe having some decorations around the outside or whatever just just to do it, you know, and uh, so this is going to be balconies for the rooms. So uh, what I want to do is figure out what the room design is going to be. And it might be inspired by the last casino because I actually kind of like those rooms. But um, I'm going to have to play around with just a little bit as where I want the building to go. Where do I want the rooms to start? How wide can they be so that the one room ends exactly here and the other one ends exactly here? Uh, and then I think I'm going to start this process right in this area because I don't want to waste this. I want there to actually be a room right here. So I think if I, if I can get the, uh, you know, this to be the walkway for the room, right? Uh, that way the balcony is on this side and not on this side. Because again, I, there's a restaurant here. I don't want it to be here. So, um, so I'm going to have the balconies in the middle instead of over here. And so the room needs to fit in this space with an adequate walkway. And by adequate, I'm saying three tiles wide, I think. So if I was to go ahead and do bingo hall and say there, the, the, the hallway between the room needs to be at least this wide, which means this is this is acceptable for a room, but I want the, the hallway that they're walking down to be at least this wide. Okay, so going on that note, I'm gonna play around with some uh, building, uh, room design, spacing, etc., cetera, and um, I will, I'll bring you in when I think I've figured it out and then we can build it together. But I just want to play around with it and figured it out. So I'll be right back. All right, so I've been playing around with spacing and stuff, right? And uh, I've measured this out. And every room here can be 14 wide. And we can fit four rooms in this. Or I could do every room seven wide and we can fit twice as many rooms in here. Now, I'm not sure if we need twice as many rooms, right? But what I thought was, we're going to have some rooms that are slightly nicer than others, right? Even though they're the highest end tier, some rooms are just like 
the presidential suites kinds of things, right? The honeymoon suite sorts of things. And uh, that can be around the perimeter here, all along this can be these types of rooms, right? So I was, I was thinking about that. And then uh, I don't know about where these all things are gonna come out in this area, primarily because our, uh, our hotel, uh, our, our elevators are coming through here, right? So if the elevators are situated here, we can expect them to arrive right in this area, right? So where am I gonna put rooms in this area? I was hoping that I left enough room between here and here with the elevators. So if I dezone this, I can look and say this is 15 out, okay? 15 to the elevator, Six, sorry, six, 16, 15. Yeah, okay, 15 to the elevator. So if I come over here, let's say I want a hotel room here. Well, this is the edge, so I'm gonna have to go one, two, three, four, which means I only have 11 left. So this goes 11 to the elevator. And uh, that's not a whole lot of room for another for another room, right? So what I was thinking is, instead of trying to cram a room in here, what we do instead is put laundry right here. And then laundry services can be right near where the elevator is. And I think that will probably carry on everywhere all the way down because laundry doesn't need as much room and uh, I can I can have that happen. We're still gonna have the same lip though just to keep it consistent on the top floor, but future floors, this actually is doable. Um, at least here, it's actually doable that we have more rooms uh, along here because we have that extra four tiles means I can fit, I think, hotel rooms in this area built by the elevator. It's just the top floor that that doesn't work because of those extra four tiles being taken away. So in any case, let's take a look at the room design for the presidential suites. And then um, over in here, we have 10 wide rooms because I couldn't fit them in this little area. This space is different, right? So uh, these are 10 wide rooms. Again, they still have their own balcony space. Uh, same thing with um, this room will have its own balcony space. This one will not. And it's just the way it is. A lot of hotel rooms do this. They have almost identical rooms, but they're just a little bit different, right? And you pay a slightly different rate. This game doesn't have the ability to set individual pricing for individual rooms, unfortunately. So all these rooms, regardless of whether it's 14 wide or 10 wide, balcony or no balcony, they're all the same price. So it's mostly just, uh, well, first come, first serve sort of thing on the on the big rooms, okay? All right, so this is hotel room 801. We're starting with 801 right over here. And uh, as we build these out, they'll go sequentially 802, 803, 804, and then probably five, six, seven, eight. We'll do all of these numbers, but I, I kind of want to keep the numbers near each other. And like how hotels usually do it is to have even on one side, odds on the other, and you just go down and it's much easier to navigate that way. So what will probably happen here is I will dezone this. We'll design all the rooms now that I have the spacing correct. And uh, then I can place in the rooms one at a time, zoning them so that they end up sequentially around the way they're supposed to be. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and design our first room right here. And uh, I don't know how big the bathroom needs to be. So that's where we're gonna start. We've got the shower here and uh, we got the hot tub here, of course. We gotta have the hot tub. And then the other thing we have to have in here is a sink to, you know, get themselves ready and all that stuff. That's gotta happen. I was hoping to have some sort of like decorations and, um, you know, flower or plants and stuff. So why don't we probably, what we'll do is we'll move this over ever so slightly. Uh, it's gotta be up against the wall though. So I guess I have to put the wall in first. We'll go with the wall one tile over probably like that. And then this can be the bathroom probably. So we'll put the plant. Mm, I want it bigger. This one, we'll put this one in and uh, for the pot, I think I want it to match the rest of the hood. Ooh, it, that's the actual color of the plant itself. Well, that's lame. <laughs> I don't want that. Although, I mean, Hey, you can make it really green. You know, I was hoping we were adjusting the color of the pot itself. I guess I have to do it this way. Okay. Well, uh, it can be a little brighter color. How about, nah, how, yeah, how about this one here? Maybe this one. I don't know. Like, doesn't matter. Well, I mean, we're designing a hotel room that's going to be copied. 
over and over and over again. So, I mean, it kind of matters. You put, spend a lot of time on one room so that you don't have to spend a ton of time on all of them. I actually like the zebra print thing. I'm going to run with that. Yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, then, um, you know, I've, I've changed my mind on the, the, the side I want this on. I'm going to put this over here on this side instead. Uh, so you come out of the shower, and then you immediately go to this part, right? And I think the shower... Oh, it's facing... Yeah, it's facing that way. Good. So, hot tub, shower, all that stuff. High autosave. Almost. You can do it. Okay. So, what I'd like to do here, I think, is we're going to grab the private bathroom zone. Just to make sure we have everything we need here. Uh, obviously, we need a toilet in here still. Um, but that's just something I've been thinking about is where that's going to go. I really wish there was smaller televisions because I would love to have a television in here, but I don't want this gigantic thing in here. So this is, I, I really want a smaller television in here and they just don't offer it. This size television wall mounted would be awesome. I'm just saying you already have the model. Just, just take away the stand and make it wall mountable and you are golden. All right. That's perfect size. You just can't, I can't do that. So uh, we'll have the bathroom, we'll have the toilet maybe here. And I'm going to put a wardrobe in here too. I think that makes sense because you want your towels and and all that stuff to be near the hot tub and everything. And I'm actually going to do, I think, a wardrobe maybe here too. I think, I think it's there instead, not here. And then the shower needs to face this way now. There we go. Uh, now, we had one person with a cool idea... And I can't do it. Uh, they're like, hey, at least put tile. Tile the shower. Tile the... I can't do that. The only thing I can do with this is just change the color of the shower itself. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna put this gold thing in here because, you know, golden shower. <laughs> uh, but uh, the thing is, I, I can still tile behind it. I just have to... I can do like, uh, like this, right? This is how you would... The only thing I can think of for tiling the shower is to do it like something like this. So let's say I have, let's say I have these panels around for the shower or for this area, right? But maybe I do this for the shower area. That's like the only thing I can do is just individually adjust that part, which it, it would look okay, but it's, it's still gonna come up above the shower because the shower does not go all the way to the top. And I think it's probably best because of that. It might just be best to pick you know, pick something that can go. Like just this is this is already kind of nice. And this is the exterior wall from the other casino. And now we can adjust it. It'd be kind of well, I thought we could, but I guess we can't. Uh, that's not doing anything. Uh, okay. Yep. What about here? No, an Egyptian thing? No. I, I think I like just the way this is already. So we're going to use this as our interior shower wall, I guess, for this. Uh, and then we can place like a whole lot of decorations and stuff around this and stuff too, just to make it good. Uh, going back to here, we're going to need... We have a sink already. That's good. We're going to have like maybe this little... It's like a bedside cabinet, but it's not bedside, right? It's like a, a thing you could put in there near, you know... I don't know, near the toilet and everything, and you would use this. I don't know. Somebody's going to use it. Um, is there anything else I can place in the bathroom? Like, anything we need to place in the bathroom? I mean, stack storage would make sense for towels, but this is way too big, which is why I opted for the wardrobe instead, which I think it looks better. We could also adjust this so that the top of this is the right color. And honestly, I think this is a little bit too... Yeah. Make it make it this gray color instead. Kind of bring it in line with the sink with cabinet, and then this white area we can we can gold that out too because that's the theme of the whole hotel, right? So if we end up with towels right here. There's extra wardrobe for things to get dressed with right there. Um, all that's kind of nice. I'm not gonna make the toilet gold. <laughs> I'm not gonna make the toilet gold. That's gonna stay an ever so like a slightly darker porcelain color okay i'm not a monster <laughs> copy this and paste it here there we go so both of those are now 
the same. And as, actually, this right here has an extra setting. There's uh, the white knobs. And we can make the knobs a different color if we want If we want to. I kind of do. We'll make them like dark color knobs, I guess. All right, so this can be changed as well. We can theme this out, and I like it. Is this too much gold? Is it, is it too much? Like... I don't know, like, yeah, it fits the theme, but is it too, is it, am I going overboard on it? I don't know. Like, I certainly don't like the bright blue, but, like, I feel like I might be going a little too far on that. Interior door, the door for the bathroom will be, let's say, here. And I will move the, I will move the toilet over here. So they can come in here. There's their bathroom area. I think it's all right. I think it's all right. Hotel room 801. You're going to be here just so this can be valid. Uh, cannot be reached from the bus stop. Well, that's not valid yet, is it? Uh, so we're going to figure out how we want to dress this up. And uh, so I got the bed situated here, which again, we can theme this out like so. And I think maybe the pillows can. Yeah. We can we can try this. <laughs> See how this works. I feel like I'm going overboard on the gold theme, just a tad. Maybe dark pillows. Darker pillows. You know, I think I'm gonna do darker pillows. Maybe like that, like a little gray, like this. Oh, also, what are we gonna do for the the floor designs and stuff here? Let's let's finish that. So floors, I normally would revert to granites, and. Uh, I may do the same here. This looks kind of nice. Yeah, like this granite floor. This looks pretty good. I think I'm going overboard on the gold here. Let's let's change this up. I'm gonna I'm gonna go like like darker here. Yeah, because it's still on theme. It's this black and gold thing, right? That's that's still on theme. Can't tell. This is slightly darker than that. And make it like this color. Yeah. Like that's 18, 18, 18. Okay. That's pretty good. You know? I can dig that. That's a cool bathroom. And I can we can go additional decorations in here too if I want to. So oh yeah, wall decorations and stuff, right? We gotta have like those murals and what about lights? We gotta have lights. And do I want the the lights from downstairs? No. I think I can, I think I'm going to get by with these wall lamps. It's the purple that I can't change. That's the problem with it. These ones I can change. It just look a little old fashioned. And these ones are pointed straight down. They're like reading lights. Uh, oh my gosh. Can we put a chandelier in here? Too, too high. Dang. <clears throat> oh, that would have been nice. We could put one of these in the ceiling though. I like this. That works. We can put it, uh. Well, you still want some front-facing light for the mirror, but I think we can place this one here. You st again, you still want this though, so I'm thinking uh, uh, these ones aren't worth. Well, I mean, I could place it here. I can't really place it. Oh, free placement's not enabled for these. I can't. I can't center it. Oh man, <laughs> you got me all excited with this whole free wall placement thing, and now it's a ceiling light. I can't do it. Is there a is there a wall light though that I that I can place and be happy with? Because I could still do that here. I just I guess I could do it like this, but I don't like it. I don't like it as much. Not this. Yeah, it's gonna have to be this wall lamp here. Okay, we're gonna center this up right on the money here. Right about there. So it's like directly down. That's pretty close. I'm gonna let that be. Oh my gosh. It's a nice bathroom, isn't it? Huh? And then you just have your, I think your really dim light, you know? You want this to be, ooh. See, it's just like a filter. It doesn't look good. I want this to be like a dim light, but there's no way to like, oh, I see. Yes, there is a way to, okay, hang on. Let me uh, de de delete this and bring it back to the way it looked before, because I actually liked it before. Before I screwed it up. There we go. I'm gonna put this above the hot tub. And then um, I wanna change the color of the light. 
Yeah. I want it to be dimmer. Well, yeah, something like just like a dimmer, a dimmer light and a warmer light. Something like maybe, yeah, something like this. There we go. Like a mood light sort of thing, right? All right, so there's our bathroom. <laughs> And I can, you know, I can still tweak this. This can still be adjusted. Um, you know, maybe I want to, oh I'm going to keep, I'm going to not, I'm never going to be done with this because I'm going to keep adjusting it. I'm thinking I put this here so they can reach it on the hot tub. And then um, this wall statue stuff, we still have to do this stuff. I want to decorate the walls. So uh, we'll have this really fancy looking thing right here above the, uh, above the hot tub, right? And then maybe another one can go on this side next to this plant. Something like that. That looks pretty cool. Uh, that looks a little fancy. Um, for this wall, because it looks a little bit bare, are there wall plants that I can... Yeah, like this. But we place something like... Yeah. Right above this actually would work better. Go about... Let's say lined up with, yeah, something like this. And then, um, hmm, how do I want to do, like, maybe just this round? Nah, it can leave some of the walls bare, right? I can leave some of the walls bare. Right above the toilet, does it not make sense to have something there, though? Maybe, like, some, I wish there were pictures of people, you know? Like, I, I realize why maybe there isn't, but... If there were pictures of people, I could be like, look, it's a famous rock star. He stayed here. You know, that kind of thing would be cool. Um, we can place just like a little a little thing here. And we'll just snap it like this. And then the frame needs to be adjusted. Yeah. So that's, I think that's great. Um, this actually doesn't match the color. We're going to change that. Yeah. Or dark. Or dark. Ooh. Ooh. There's just too much gold. I want I want some contrast. This matches this. We'll we'll keep it. Okay. Oh, that's the bathroom. We're done. Now, the room. Okay, the room. So for so this thing will stop bugging me. We're just gonna place a locked bedroom door here for now. Just so all of this oh, it won't stop bugging me because there's no way down. That's that's fine. This this is all gonna be exclamation points until we bring the elevators all the way up. Uh, and I don't want to do that just yet. Although I can destroy the whole shaft, can't I? Yeah, I can just destroy the whole shaft once I make it. So I'm gonna have to do this with all of them. But um, I'll just do this with one for now. And we're just gonna go bop. Oh, I have to do this. I have to reselect it every time I do this. Ugh. Add floor above, add floor above, add floor above. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Sorry. So now we have these things not flashing at us. And there's where our elevators will be, all right? There's not enough room here for another hotel room on this floor. But on this floor, I think because these are going to be standard rooms, I think there's enough room for them here. We could probably have them end right about here. I mean, this would make a hotel room that is 12 uh, out by 12. And then you still have three tiles of walking room or 11 here, mostly. And by doing that, you bring it to be this size. This is 12 right here. So I, I think the standard rooms don't need to, don't have to be this big and it'll be all right. Okay, so this is all valid now, good. The next thing is what to decorate it as. Let's start with walls and uh, floors and things. And I'm thinking, you know, the themed walls and stuff we have, there's pretty limited and I don't know if they're necessarily me and how I want to, how the, I want these things to flow, but I do like these little paneling. I think this is kind of cool. If I could change the color of it, um, I'd be all right with like a darker sort of wall there like that. Yeah, I think so. Now, the real question I have is, Will the guests even use? Oh. 
you just decided to oh my god people are gonna be walking around okay staff only please <laughs> now these guys are trapped damn it uh hang on i i can fix this uh all we have to do is go teleport to pickups teleport to pickups off you go and uh honestly i think this whole shaft needs to be yes good the whole shaft is staff only excellent okay then we don't have to worry about it all right so this hotel room what i'm curious of is whether or not i can actually make the room use the balcony too because i don't i don't know if the game is going to let me do that but i'm hoping that by making an internal the internal wall right or the internal door this one doors are to separate different adjoining rooms or areas of your casino staff customers and staff can use both the store so what i'm hoping is right we go something like uh, I don't know, maybe something like this. It won't let me do it because it's invalid placement. That's what I thought. Now, if I was to make a balcony go about like, um, I wonder if I can place, what can I, can I place anything? Oh my God, I can place trees out here. Yes, <laughs> I can place them. They can, it can be done. It can be done. So I, I want these, can they be centered? Pretty damn close, isn't it? Right on the money. Uh, I'm gonna do this and then can I do terrain? I, I wanna figure this balcony thing out. Yeah, let me do terrain all the way like this. Okay, so that looks a little weird. Let's bring it to here instead. Yep, and then back with the terrain like this. All right, now the goal is we have the balcony starting here and balcony starting here and then there's like this extra thing between the balconies, right? Just kind of did extra things. We planted grass up here because it makes total, total, total sense. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. Uh, now I, I want to, ooh, flowers. We play, you know, flowers look better. Yeah, they do. Flowers look a lot better, and then we'll use this color for everything too. All right. So the fence line should be consistent with the other colors we've been using, which is this one. So we're gonna take this balcony and bring it to here, bring it over, uh, and let's just match it up, I think, right to here. See how that plays out. So assuming this exists, will you let me place an interior door now? Crossing my fingers, pretty please? No, it won't. So that means I'd have to use a locked bedroom dressing room key door, and I don't wanna do that either, so what I, could maybe get away with is this archway no invalid placement still but the commercial single door will work well I mean it adds something cool but it's not what I'm looking for I certainly don't want the double door either so I guess the commercial door is what I'm gonna have to use but I want to change the color can I okay good well yeah kind of good like a whiter door like this. Yeah. Something like this. Now, I'm just wondering if they're actually going to use it, though. That's the part I'm unsure about. Because I don't believe I can zone this as part of the hotel room. Right? It's, it has to... This This is this is interesting. Um, it won't be part of the hotel room, but hopefully the hotel guest will still use it. So we'll see how this goes. I, I feel like this might be a slight gap in the game's capabilities, which is pretty on par with what I usually do here. <laughs> we usually try to do things that the games the games don't allow us to do. That's pretty much my MO here. Um, how wide is this? Eight. So this needs to be to about there. Ooh. Maybe we go all the way across to make them 12, and then they go and make it 12. Yeah, it probably needs to do that. All right, this this balcony has to has to get stretched all the way over. Not the biggest of deal. Yeah, not quite what I was hoping for, but all right. So we'll go about like this. I was hoping for this to be like an in, a median area because I was gonna place one of these in here as well. Sort of like a, well, I mean, it could still happen. It just, it won't be consistently sized. So some of the balconies will be a little bigger than others. <clears throat> I guess it's not a, a 
That's not a major deal, I guess. A deal breaker, I believe is what, how they refer to that. It's not a deal breaker, right? There we go. All right, and then we just, uh, you know, terrain this up like that, right? Yeah. So like, there's little bits that are different, but look at how the, how cool this would look, right? If we just get these hotel rooms looking like this. It's gonna look awesome. <sighs> all right, let me uh, let me dink around with decorations and how things can be positioned and all that stuff, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go from there. 